so what we have here is a bend in this rail here and I've read some people have managed to put them straight I'm not sure how to straighten it but I bought a new one from Jayco and I just need to work out how to take all this out I believe I have to remove the whole bed base which involves finding a nut or a bolt that locks this so when you pull it out it doesn't just slide out every time which I'm going to attempt to do right now uh, this is I haven't found any videos on this anywhere on YouTube so let's have a crack at changing the bent bed base track this is a late model Jayco Outback Eagle it's only two and a half years old I don't know how it bent and I'm not sure so I'm going to have a go at it myself rather than pay for 100s. Well, what I've discovered is on the inside of the van you'll find a rather large hole and then a smaller hole behind it which has this nut, uh, two nuts and a bolt. Now this nut goes in that way so the head sits inside the track and it pushes through up against the extrusion here and then the locking nut here the nylon locking nut goes on that side on the outside I've just managed to get that one out now I may not have to undo the other side I'm not sure here I'm going to investigate this just to see so I've removed this but it does slide I put it up on the legs it did slide a little bit so I've just put this temporary clamp on here just so uh, I know whether I need to pull the whole bed out or whether I can just fix it by just sliding that one out and it looks possible from my point of view so there's the new one just sitting there ready to bolt on again I didn't have to pull the whole bed out I just clamped it one side so it wouldn't slide out all over the floor or the ground uh, this is the old one here as you can see there's a kink in it that I don't know if it can be straightened and I'm just sort of be for 40 bucks that's all they were 40 something just over 40 dollars each I'll just get a new one so there's a spacer and the spacer sits in there like that and then there's the head of the nut goes in that way and then the bolt goes on the back it's a lock, nylon locking nut so I'm going to see if I've got some others in my shed that I can replace them with if not I'm going to use the originals and really and it's just putting the locking bolt in at the other end that stops it sliding all the way out it's a fairly simple thing now I'm going to put it back together and give it a test run now it's a little bit fiddly but it can be done without pulling the whole bed out the locking nut is in so the bed's not going to go as you can see it's staying I'm just going to take the legs off and push the frame in and Bob's your uncle let's see what happens right it's all done this one's in it's running pretty smooth the old one is a little bit tight which I'm going to work on just going to uh, tighten some things up but it just seems to be running so much better it's not stopping halfway and it's easier to push in and it took me maybe having never done this before and having to go back to the shed to get some tools it took me about an hour 